The World Meteorological Organization has issued a warning on Tropical Storm Mocha, describing it as very dangerous and warning of strong gusts, flooding, and potential landslides in Bangladesh that might affect Cox's Bazaar, the largest refugee camp in the world. According to India's meteorological office, Cyclone Mocha is expected to make landfall on Sunday close to the border between Bangladesh and Myanmar with gusts of up to 175 km per hour 108 miles per hour. The office estimated that the low-lying coastal region, where extensive camps are home to hundreds of thousands of Rohingya refugees on the Bangladeshi side, will see a storm surge of between 2 and 2 and a half meters 6 to 8 feet. After a military crackdown in Myanmar in 2017, the majority of them left there. Olga Sarado, a spokesman for the UN Agency for Refugees, said that if necessary, plans were being made to partially evacuate the camp. Tens of thousands of hot meals and jerry cans were also being prepared by the agency, she claimed. According to the World Health Organization, 33 mobile medical teams, 40 ambulance, emergency surgical supplies, and cholera kits have been prepositioned for the camp. The WHO has positioned 500,000 water purification pills in Myanmar ahead of time, along with additional supplies that would last the full monsoon season. The WHO's Margaret Harris said at a briefing, We really need to be ready if this turns into the level of cyclone we fear. About a thousand people were getting ready to take refuge in one monastery in the town of Sitwe on Friday as residents of low-lying villages in Myanmar's Rakhine state fled their homes. While unpacking supplies, several people laid down blankets and made sleeping arrangements. Vansa, 42, claimed that Cyclone Nargis, which devastated southern Myanmar in 2008 and killed more than 130,000 people, had caused him to lose numerous family members. I suggested to my family that we take refuge in this monastery, he told AFP. I have six kids and I can't ever lose them again. The Rakhine Coast's coastal communities were being evacuated, according to state media, which did not specify the number of individuals who had been relocated. The Honta warned that anyone leaving a boat in Rakhine after Friday afternoon will be prosecuted. The United Nations Office for Humanitarian Affairs warned on Friday that flooding and landslides deeper inland in Myanmar and Bangladesh might be caused by strong winds and rain. It said that over 6 million people in Rakhine and the northwest of Myanmar already required humanitarian aid. Although there had not yet been any evacuations in Bangladesh, officials said that hundreds of cyclone shelters were prepared to receive evacuees. The last time a superstorm struck Bangladesh was in November 2007, when Cyclone Cider tore through the country's southwest, killing over 3,000 people and wreaking billions of dollars worth of damage.